welcome to get database training guys you are listening to SAF and this is the third tutorial of this video series in this video we are going to understand the basic vocabulary of SQL Server so here is an overview we will start with database objects followed by tables rows and columns then we will see all the SQL commands and then we are going to understand what are data types in SQL Server, what is SQL, what is TSQL, and eventually what our relational database is. So let's get started. Database objects. SQL Server contains several objects within a database which are referred to as database objects. Some of them are tables, views, functions, stored procedures, indexes, triggers, and a few more. Every database object has got its own significance. In this video, we are only going to understand about tables and the rest of the database objects we will be covering in the upcoming sessions. So let's see what our table is. Tables are used to store data and they consist of rows and columns. Every table has got a name and the respective column names are shown below. So here, let's see an example table here. We got a table with the name TBL student and this table has got three columns and each column has got a respective column name. The first column we have is the student ID. The second one is student name and the third one is student city. So this is my table definition because the columns will always define a table. So we got a table with three columns. At the same time, there are four rows. Okay, we got one Saf London, two John New York, three Mike London and four David Sydney. So all these rows and the values in the rows are nothing but your data. This is called as tables data. So this is a table which stores data in the form of rows and columns. And here the above table table student has got three columns and four rows. That's right. And the columns define the table and the rows are nothing but the data. Cool. So this is a table. Next, understand what are SQL commands. So uh, there are several SQL commands in SQL Server. So well, Microsoft has grouped all the SQL commands into four major categories. And those categories are DDL, DML, DCL, and TCL. So let's see the first category, which, which is DDL. So DDL stands for Data Definition Language. And this category deals with the structure of database objects okay and now we know what are database objects like tables views functions store procedures let's see an example of table here we got a table let's say whenever you are working with the structure of the table let's say if you want to create a table or if you want to drop a table or if you want to make changes to the table definition then you have to use the commands of this category which is DDL category okay for an example if you want to create a table you have to use the create a command if you want to make changes to an existing table let's say if you want to add a new column or if you want to drop an existing column from the table then you have to use the alter command because we are working with the structure of the table and then let's say if you want to delete the entire table itself then it's the drop drop command so basically this DDL category it works with the structure of database objects okay so if you want to create alter or drop any database object then go for this category which is ddl the second category we have is dml and this stands for data manipulation language and this deals with data let's say whenever you're working with tables data let's say if you want to to read the data of the table if you want to add some more data make changes to an existing data or if you want to delete any existing data then you have to use the commands of the ml category okay if you want to view the data you go for select command if you want to add more data go for insert if you want to modify the existing data go for update if you want to delete any row then go for delete command okay so ddl deals with the structure of database objects whereas dml deals with the data okay tables data and then we've got two more commands which are dcl and tcl dcl is data control language this is mainly used by database administrators for security reasons and uh, then we got tcl this is used by senior database developers 
to to make to to decide the changes affecting the data okay so we are going to learn and understand these two categories of sql commands in the upcoming videos but for now focus on the first two categories which are ddl and dml next we got data types so what is a data type data types specify the type of data that can be stored in a column SQL Server supports many data types like character, varchar, integer, data, date, time, money, etc. Okay, so here again we got the same example table over here. So while creating a table, obviously I need to specify the the column names. Okay, how many columns I want and what are the names of the columns. At the same time, I need to specify the data types for each column. Okay, because I want SQL Server to understand what type of data i am going to add in this column for example the first column which is the student id i want all the numbers to be added in this column so for this reason i need to specify a data type for integer values which is int okay if you see here int to store number values so i need to specify the data type for this column as integer and then it will add all the number values in this column and the second column we got is student name and we got all the name here all the names of the students okay which are characters for this we got a specific data type for characters numbers and symbols which is char or varchar so for the, these two columns i'll be using char or varchar data type okay so which can accommodate all the character values in these two columns so this is the use of data types and therefore i can say data types specify the type of data that can be stored in a column right now next we got sql what is sql as we know sql stands for structured query language and this is used to manage and manipulate data on the database engine so basically here is a user and on the other hand we got a database engine we are inserting the inserting the data which gets stored on the database engine we are modifying the data and which gets affected on the database engine and if the user is deleting the data it gets deleted from the database engine so all these operations are happening with the help of sql language okay so hence we say sql acts as an interface between the user and the database engine okay if i want to do anything useful with database i need to make use of sql language and sql is a standard for iso as well as ansi next what is tsql here t stands for transact and tsql is the main language used to manage and manipulate data in microsoft sql server so here tsql is a dialect and extended version of sql added with new features like programmability concepts so what microsoft has done is microsoft has used sql as a base and it has added some new programming concepts to it and then it has termed it as tsql so here tsql is exclusively for microsoft databases so here you see ssms and on the other hand you see sql server database engine and the language that we are using is tsql so tsql is works only with sql server as we know sql is a common language okay sql can be used on all the databases whether it's the it is the microsoft sql server or um, oracle database sybase db2 access all the databases they are going to use some common sql com commands but if you want to use the advanced functionality like variables programming concepts in microsoft then you have to use the sql which is exclusively for microsoft databases so in this course we are only going to focus on the sql because we are working with microsoft sql server now lastly we got relational database what is a relational database a relational database is a database that is capable of representing relationships between different sets of data okay in simple terms i would say any database which represents data in the form of tables is considered as a relational database okay now all of the microsoft sql server databases are relational databases because they store and represent data in the form of tables okay we know in microsoft sql server we got all the data stored in the form of tables so hence i can say all the microsoft databases are relational databases 
So that's all for now. Should you have any queries, feel free to drop us a line. Also, visit our website to get full access to the data. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please do like and share it. And for more videos, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with another video soon. In the meantime, keep practicing and all the best. Thank you.